All right, so since everything below the drip rail is gonna be that Largo blue, I gotta prime this section of the door down. <sighs> yeah, hopefully this is uh, smart. It could be this simple forever. What's up everybody it's Tuesday a week later from when I started <laughs> we've been under major weather problems and as you can see I don't know if you can but I had an RV cover that I bought off a of buddy and I had to cover the RV for a couple days because it was pouring rain out so finally getting some more work done I got the front all taped off and we're gonna spray the uh, spray the front and uh, yeah then we'll get ready to just keep doing some work today It's uh, nearly 70 degrees right now, so stuff's gonna be drying fast today, which is uh, hopefully gonna work to my advantage. So, all right, uh, let me show you what happened last week before the rain came. This is the Largo Blue that we uh, got that we um, that we thought was gonna be nice, but it actually looks like uh, Smurf Blue. It's very bright. Um, it looks nothing like the color swatch uh, that was on uh, the website. So, of course, you know, I probably shouldn't have sprayed it, but I did. Sprayed uh, that section of the door and four pieces of the front. We then went and, uh, sorry, we then went and got uh, a different kind of paint from Pettit uh, Boat Paint. It's called Ocean Blue much better so let me get that and I did a test spray so this is the new blue and that's the old blue way different I'm it might be hard to see on the video but this blue is much warmer um, much nicer so yeah so um, I got a whole bunch of uh, paint on order which is supposed to come tomorrow luckily tomorrow it's gonna rain so I can't do any work but then I'll have all the supplies and it's supposed to be nice Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Sunday's it because come Monday it's gonna rain for I think seven to ten days straight and uh, yeah we're gonna be screwed so all right uh, I'm just gonna do a little sand work because I got to sand that door and reprime it and then uh, I'm gonna probably shoot that with some blue today. Um, and do a couple of things because I only have a I only have a quart of uh, the paint, and I'm just gonna spray some little things today just so they can uh, be done. So it'll probably be that piece right there, which is Smurf blue, and that piece. So I'll just do some of these little pieces, and hopefully it all works out. All right. See you in a little bit. You may be asking yourself, what does removing a window have to do with painting an RV? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> so when we first got our RV, we had this little leak in the bottom corner of the driver's seat. And it eventually grew and then I had noticed a long time ago when we first had it that in the upper corner there was a massive amount of silicone that I guess the previous owners had put there to kind of fix whatever was leaking. So when I did, started to deconstruct the RV for painting, I noticed this was no longer sealed. 
So water had been coming in here the whole time, even after I had sealed the window with permabond tape, which is what I'm scraping off right now. Um, but the inside of the RV is dry. So all the wood underneath the phylon, the lawn, is all wet. Um, and it, you know, our uh, phylon is very wavy on this side, but it hasn't been leaking. So why did I remove the window? Well, because I want to paint this side and I don't want to have the permabond tape. So what I've decided to do is scrape everything off and I'm going to do as good a job as I can of re-gluing the phylon back onto this and at least sealing everything all around the window so at least I can paint the side and even if it looks wavy it'll still be matching paint to the rest of the RV. Um, the proper way would be to obviously uh, you'd have to remove the front cap and then we'd also have to remove the rain gutter rail and then we'd have to cut the phylon over by the slide just to be able to remove this one section and then scrape off all the old wood replace any foam put new wood and then the phylon back on i don't have time for that and um i really want to do that but it's not going to work so if i can get this glued up I can clamp it in place and we'll put the tarp back over um, and that's how it's going to have to be. Uh, I think with the ma a massive amount of glue that I plan to put in this thing, I think it should do an okay job. Um, I'm okay with it being a little wavy as I said, um, it's just uh, it's Tuesday and this whole painting RV job has to be done by Sunday. Otherwise, we're pretty screwed. So, all right, I'm going to keep working on this thing. And uh, it's 3.30. I got about two and a half more hours before it gets dark. And then we got to get the tarp back on because it's going to start raining tomorrow morning. Good news. It's only going to rain till 2 o'clock tomorrow, so I can come back out here and do more work. So, yeah. All right. So much fun. <laughs> all right, so I got it. Uh, all the adhesive off, scraped off. I'm going to start filling it up with glue, and I'm just going to start piecing in some foam pieces that uh, got some holes in here. Um, I don't know, I'm just hoping this works. So I'm trying uh, Liquid Nails Fuse It Max. It's the strongest, it's got the quickest uh, initial grab and hold. I'm gonna clamp it, then once this is all glued up, hopefully it sticks, I'm gonna come back over and put uh, a bead of sealant or maybe permabond tape over here, over the face, because that gets covered by the cowling that goes here, so. Yeah, all right. say it does have a really good grab so a quick run to Home Depot got some more clamps and some more glue so I'm just gonna go around clamp everything off and then um, I have to uh, probably put some plastic over this the uh, the RV tarp does let some moisture in, so I don't want anything to go into the RV. So I have to take that off in pending for the big rainstorm that's coming tonight. And then uh, we'll be good for a few days. Um, yeah. It's not the best way to fix this. I'm sure people are going to be like, that's not the best way. <laughs> but it's all I have time for. And I don't know, the juice isn't worth the squeeze to take it all apart.
What's going on everybody? It is uh, Wednesday. <laughs> um, so I worked until it was about pitch black last night, probably about 6.30. Uh, working on the window. I'll show that in a minute and show you how it uh, set up, which I think is pretty good. But right now I'm just trying to scrape all the permabond tape off the outside frame of the window because I used that originally to seal the outside edge. Uh, so I just got to get that off and then uh, get all the glue residue off. I have to scrape the inside of all any residual glue that's on there and then we're going to put the window back in today. And uh, yeah, so it should be good by tomorrow, 24 hours. The one thing I do have to do is I have to run out to the auto store and get the special, uh, I guess, sealer for the front edge because there's no screws really on the front edge that clamp it like the rest of the window. So it uses that uh, special windshield glue. So I just got to go get a tub of that. All right, I'm just going to keep working on this. And then, uh, yeah, I'll show you when it's done. All right, everybody, here's the window. And I've got this taped off because I have to put that special uh, window glue here. And then the rest of it will be butyl tape. So, yeah, not too bad. Actually, stiffened up a lot with the epoxy in here, with the uh, glue. So a little bubble here, which I couldn't get to, but everything is solid down here. And this was probably the main leak area, and this is all solid. So it's solid up here at the front, so we're good. All right, I'm going to prep the, uh, the window over there for install, and then uh, we'll get it put in. All right, so I'm doing some uh, 3M window, super fast uptake window weld for the, the metal and stuff, so. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> 